Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month. Defect of the Month comes from the MPL Defect Database. My name is Bob Willis and uh, hopefully I'll guide you through some of the defects that we're featuring uh, this month. Unfortunately, I often see companies throwing away good printed circuit boards. And this to me, having worked in the printed circuit board manufacturing industry over a number of years, is extremely disappointing. Uh, they cost money and of course there's a lot of effort gone into them. But throwing a board away after it's been printed with paste once, which perhaps wasn't perfectly printed, and not considering reusing the board and washing it off, um, I think is poor practice. Yes, I appreciate that uh, it can be difficult to wash off a board, and yes, I appreciate and I fully understand that wash-offs can have an impact on the wettability and solderability. However, first of all, then that should be considered during the selection stage for your surface finish. If you're using solder coating or gold coating, a wash-off really is not going to affect the wettability or solderability if done correctly. And if done correctly, you should be able to remove all of the residue from plated through holes and, of course, via holes as well. Now, to avoid this actually happening uh, and seeing one or multiple boards being thrown away through poor printer setup procedure, if you're going to set up a board for printing, then one of the ways you can overcome contaminating your first off board is to put uh, some low tack tape on the surface of the board. It's readily available from a number of suppliers. And what you're doing is putting on a protective coating to the board. Uh, you then set up your printer, you print your first board, you can inspect that, you can also do SPI on that, and that will give you an indication of the quality of the print. Then, all you do is peel the tape off of the printed circuit board and you could then print it. Now some companies don't like that because they feel that there might be some residue left uh, from the adhesive tape. I don't tend to find that to be true and I've never seen it to cause a solderability issue. However, if that is the case, then why not use the setup board and use the same setup board all the time? Put the tape on the board, do your first off print, qualify your process for that run, and then remove the tape and store that board for reuse when you're going to run that product again. That's simple, doesn't waste boards, and it's a pretty good indication of the quality of your setup. 